Hey, today let's talk about my favorite web development programming podcasts. Hey, developers. Today we're going to talk about awesome, amazing web developer podcasts that you should know about and that I have been listening to for a very long time. So let's take a look at some of them. So I just picked a few of my favorites in no particular order. One of them is called Code Newbie, and you all the links and descriptions will be below. CodeNewbie.org is a interview type podcast where they interview a lot of, like the name suggests, newbies. I mean, we're talking about seasoned developers, but also some newbie people. It's hosted and created by Sar Saran Yitabarak. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that name. But you can kind of see here, if you take a look here at our podcast, you have all sorts of people. Uh, Art of Dan Schiffman, another YouTuber, actually was in this episode. And they talk about a lot of the, not just the technical parts, but a lot about humans and how they interact and how people learn to code and people's stories and people's the first time going to conferences. So I really like the interview style that they do. So this is definitely a podcast I'd recommend. Another one is JavaScript Jabber. It was created by Charles Maxwood. In fact, there is on this dev chat TV, a lot of different podcasts. So if you're looking for more, the more technical based podcasts, JavaScript Jabber is it. They interview a lot of creators of different frameworks and libraries and programming languages. A lot of the who's who in the programming world have been interviewed at JavaScript Jabber, um, especially in the JavaScript world, of course. And it's pretty, it's pretty good, pretty good. And a lot of it, uh, Charles Maxwood does a great job at at interviewing these people. There's actually a lot of times you'll have like two or three, four people on the panel at once that are interviewing someone, so you get different perspectives. And uh, yeah, it's probably one of the best programming podcasts out there one uh one of them i like modern web they haven't been updating their podcasts as often lately but this is another interview type podcast you um, have a couple different people they'll interview developers um, usually get a lot of people that are um, in the industry that are doing the interviews and people that uh, create frameworks, kind of like JavaScript Jabber, but it's a little less technical, I would have to say. And uh, yeah, definitely recommend this one too. I actually know one of the creators of this podcast. .NET Rocks has been around for a very, very long time. Even though the name says .NET Rocks, it's not a .NET only podcast. So you're getting a lot of different technologies and frameworks and people different programming languages these guys have been doing it very for a very long time so the web the podcast is very polished the website's very polished too and it, the topics range it's another interview type podcast but you get all sorts of different people from soft skills to to technical skills it's just all over the place and well worth listening to and and the interaction between the hosts is great you can tell that they are very professional one uh, one podcast that isn't quite in the web developer programming space, but it's more a little bit entrepreneurial, but it is hosted by two developers, is Startups for the Rest of Us. Well, former developers, now they're more like CEOs and and uh, business owners, but is that Startups for the Rest of Us. Rob Walling is on it, as well as Mike Tabor. You see here, there. And so you're going to get a lot of how do you grow your SaaS? How do you grow for something from nothing? I'm really into entrepreneurship, so I love this type of podcast. I listen to it every single week. And like you can see, here's some of the topics they go over. And they don't, this is not necessarily an interview podcast, though they do some interviews. It's, a lot of times it's just them going over some topic, giving their advice, doing top, top videos of what they think is best. So like this one's growing from 1K to 5K MMR, monthly recurring revenue, projecting software as a service revenue growth, refining your sales process and more. And then they have listener questions. 
So a lot about entrepreneurship. It's uh, this, and these guys have been around for a while. This podcast has been going on for years and years and years. And I would have to say, my friend, learn to code with me, is a great podcast. Um, you could see here. You can see it's created by Laurent Bradford. And uh, she's one of my friends, she's actually has season three, and this is another interview type podcast. They've been doing it for a very, very, uh, at least three seasons for a couple years now. It's been a couple years, yeah, probably a couple years. And once again, you're getting interviews with not necessarily the the most well known developers out there, but people who have just learned programming by themselves, and they now have a story to tell, and it's quite interesting. So I like that type of podcast as well. I would remiss to say though, I didn't put this on my list originally, but I have a podcast that I did with a couple of friends. We haven't updated it in over almost a year since October 2nd, 2016. But if you really want some real high quality interviews with people in the industry, in web developers, uh, programming people in the, the programming world, I would take a look at my podcast. Plus we give updates on our careers at the time. You can kind of see how I was doing back then last year and see how it was going. So those are just a few podcasts that I like to listen to. I'll leave all the links in the description below. Uh, if you like these type of videos, please click that subscribe button. That really helps. Thanks and take care.